So uh, I'm Anshul Jain. Um, I'm the CEO of PMI Electromobility Solutions. PMI Electromobility is one of the largest um, e-bus OEMs in India. We have about 1,200 buses on road uh, across 28 cities. Um, we have the you know one of the largest market shares in the e-bus segment in the country, and we are very proud partners. Um, you know to push this EV this uh, EV bus adoption in India. So, you know, my favorite phrase is uh, the e the PMI growth story is parallel to the e bus growth story in India. About five, seven years ago, there were hardly any e buses in the country. There was uh, PMI supplied its first e bus about seven years ago. And from that time till now, the number of e buses on roads in India has grown substantially. And of that, PMI has had steadily the one of the largest market shares. Um, so we believe we have been crucial in the e-bus adoption in India. Initially, you know, when everybody thought getting e-buses on road, doing GCC, it it was thought of as risky. Uh, it's a new new move. I think PMI was one of the front runners in that movement, and we've been very proud of that because we strongly believe e-bus. Uh, penetration in India is not about making profits or it's not about, you know, a business things. We are all working towards a bigger goal, which is the net zero emission goal, which is to promote sustainability, which is to promote faster adoption and so on. And we feel very proud that we've been able to contribute to this goal in our little way. So, you know, the we've seen a lot of push from the government uh, to make this initiative more successful from redesigning on how we think of the bus industries through GCC contracts to uh, launching big tenders that have allowed us to reach economies of scale to this new e-bus tender that's coming up. There has been a lot of positive movement from the government in which has been the core reason why the adoption has increased in India for e-buses and across various governments and SDUs. So I believe that is one of the most key enablers, uh, you know, without that, we wouldn't have seen the success we've seen in the e-bus industry in India. Going forward, you know, when I think of what will make it more successful, I strongly believe collaboration is going to make it more successful. You know, all of us sometimes think, what can I do to increase my market share? What can I do to increase my competitiveness? What can I do to increase my profits? So the industry needs to start moving from I to B, where we need to start focusing. There is a bigger goal that we are working towards. You know, a lot of these things are new. Uh, you know, as we talk, semiconductors is new in India. A lot of these development, a lot of these technology is new. I see there is a strong need for greater collaboration, greater talking to each other across different segments, whether it be two-wheeler, whether it be it buses, whether it be it trucks where we need to build a platform that we learn from each other uh, to promote this initiative, to promote the goals that our Prime Minister has you know, set for us. So to when I think of, okay, what will take this in general, not only e-buses, but e-vehicles to the next level, I believe collaboration is what we are missing. Uh, and that's where I would believe needs to be the most emphasis going forward. I think it's a it's a great initiative. And as I said, you know, when we talk about collaboration, these are the platforms where we come and talk, where we meet each other, where we understand what we offer to each other. So I would like to congratulate ET Auto on, you know, successfully doing it for 10 years in a row. This is my first year here and I couldn't be happier. So I think it's a it's a great initiative and kudos to the whole team for putting such a successful event together.